Hey guys, Lola here. I thought I would come and show you the next install. So I've got these uh, wand curls, crochet style, that I want to do. And this is the braid pattern. So I borrowed from the last braid pattern, doing one from the right side along the back, which I joined into the second braid. And one down here has gone as well as the second braid, and they kind of join in each other all the way along joining into each other and then the last the two either side of the middle then join into the one and I've sewed it down with weaving thread and a giant needle hooray for being back home I could find a giant needle so I will show you um so two four six eight braids I didn't even count how many corners I had um but yeah makes it easy to have a center part or a side part. All right. To show you the good old hair, again, ordered off Amazon, came with a free crochet hook, and you can probably see some jewels just loosely in there. But this is what the packs are individually, uh, the bundles. I think there's five bundles in there, but they're individually wrapped as such. And this is what they look like. And they are just really, really, Cute, and this is a color 1B. So, guys, let's install. Briefly after one pack, just so you can see how full it already is with one pack. I have not separated any of the curls. I've just used them as they've come out of the pack, um, folding the middle over the crochet hook. I guess I'll come back after two packs, three packs. I have five packs in there. I don't think one of them. So guys, I'm back with the second pack in. So as you can see, it's actually rather full already um, so and what I've done is I've not split any of the hairs because they seem thinner than the um, like each section seems thinner than the others that you can buy in the shops so they're slim enough to use one by one and retwisted loop end so that it's a bit smoother and easy for me to kind of latch through. Times with this, just to show. So for the center part, just here, because I don't want the center parting to go that far back. I've already done it once, so I loop through two corners rather than one. Find the end of the latch hook, hook the hair down, close the latch, pull it through, and then Gonna loop twice just because this is a looser curl than my um, previous installs. Hi guys, so there's another technique that I'm going to be using for the very front hairs which I watched another video and I will link her down below um, is uh, basically a she's called a seamless crochet method which is basically for the center part um, you crochet up towards where the part would be, then you do your hooking of the hair, and then closing the latch, pulling through, and then finding the loop. And what you do is you have your split um, sections, and you just only loop through one half of the section and then pull it closed. And that way, one, you have it sealed, but two, it falls uh, more naturally and looks more seamless at the root. All right, I'm gonna try again, just so that it's a bit more clear. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the... Oops. 
first I have to remember where my center part is. So on this side of my center part, I just have to make sure that it's not heading in the right direction. All right. So loop you over, latch it closes, pull it out, latch it down. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's both sections as it's meant to be. I'm only taking one half to loop through. So that's all. One half loop through and then tie tight and let it fall. That way it will look more seamless along that side. Right. I will come back when it's time to style. So I'm just showing how I split my hair in two. This is a Jenny Jackson bun. And this one is turning around and twisting a little then again so that it is quite even. So I'm actually going to use my hair cutting shears because why not? I don't have any other random scissors. I'm a Hair person, of course, I got loads of hair scissors. So, um, main thing is just to pull a section and just snip off a bit of it so that it kind of gives it a bit of shape. Let's just grab a bit. guys so this is how I trimmed it but you see that I just kind of it was the trimming technique that I showed earlier now the other thing is you know me I prefer a side part not a center and this was the reason I thought I'd do it on here so you don't go oh my god what magic did she do what juju did she do to make it look so much more no I just literally pulled it to the side. You're welcome. Now, what I will probably be doing over the next few um, days to weeks is um, fluffing it up more and separating the curls probably. But for now, I'm just happy to have it so well defined and shiny. Um, I really, really like it. And that's the twins. But we will see how it holds up. Yeah, I, this is the first crochet style I've done in a while, which involves hiding all of my own hair. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I just really like a side part. You know that. Probably going to do a tiny bit more trimming to get rid of these like gray hairs. Um, but yeah, that's it really. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please hit the like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell notification button so that you can be uh, told about new videos. All right, I'm going to go get ready for bed. But yeah, first, let's do some slow-mos. <laughs>